there and welcome to Enigma. We have one more route from Lauros, one more ending from Lauros route over here. Uh, we'll jump straight to that final choice we are supposed to change and see what exactly awaits us at the end of it all. And we are here. We are here. We are here. Collect, collect. Cut that. Colette asked if you want. She asked Chester if she wants to stir the family with her. Crazy way. Crazy way to say something like that, but okay. This time, unfortunately, we have to say a second option. Fortunately, maybe for. At least she will not end up the way she ended up. You can check in the previous episode. I couldn't do that to you. <laughs> I cannot accept your proposal. Oh, why? <sighs> An illness. I'm sorry for keeping silent about it. Huh. You cannot reach the future dream about as long as you're with me. So. You're lying. Colette? There is no way you can possibly die. Why are you coming up with such a cruel lies? Colette, listen to me. I'm listening, and that's how I know it's a lie. Hello, Chester. Hello, more than anyone. I want to be with you forever, just like that was with Mom. About that, we know a little secret as well from the previous episode. How do I have family with you? How to get back all that I've lost? You, Laura, the three of us. Colette. Mom and Dad left me behind, but I would never do such a thing myself. Oh, the bad news was precious to me. And you like that too, Chester, aren't you? Colette. I have already left behind many, and not just once. Let's go back. I think you should calm down a little. I'll walk you home. I'm fine. Excuse me. <sighs> he was not lying for. Um, Greta... What is it? Could you please hit me once? <sighs> I didn't take you for a person who's into something like that. I'm not into it. I'm really not, okay? Then why or on, where on earth did that come from? <sighs> ah, there is no helping you. Take this. What is it? A drink. I know what has happened, but it should lift your spirits at least. I'll take it. Yeah, and with that you can get out. Your gloomy mood is making me... Even me depressed. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be off then. Was that small fight with Laura that much of a shock to you? I didn't say anything because Colette asked me to keep silent, but... I wonder if there was a reason why I should hide this was her father's bottle. If I said it from the it was from Colette, Chester probably would have visited her house with thanks. An odd girl. I see. Laura's in the same house and he would rather not meet him tonight. Gee, talk about problematic people. It's not about that for <laughs> Greta, Greta, Greta. It is. Something wrong. She was down ever since coming back. Maybe she's asleep already. Uh, I think I'll be going to Chester's place tomorrow, but I'll leave something for you to eat. I don't know what happened, but cheer up, alright? I start feeling cold blue myself when you're down like that. Good night. Please. I hope she didn't do anything stupid. 
at the same time I'm freaking worried. Don't do anything, Colette, please. It is in the nature of all life to seek leaving seeds behind. <laughs> How does that sound? <laughs> and there is not a thing alive with a right to reprimand this action. Life has to protect itself. Although everything has a cost. Incredible! I didn't expect it to work this well. I might have had too much. Hopefully he's alright. Chester. Don't tell me. DON'T TELL ME! I had bru I hate brutes and liars. But I have lied in the past myself, so I'll forgive you this time. So beautiful. I love you, Chester. I love you. Oh. I feel so sluggish. Huh? Chester! Colette. Yes. Well, uh, uh, I'm all tied up. What death? I was waiting for you to wake up. I'm sorry. That medicine was stronger than I thought. What the fuck? Med- Huh? Was it the drink? Yes. I was afraid you would notice. I mean, you are Chester after all. That sleeping medicine is no different from water, so it's very hard to spot. Anyway, it seems I was lucky. What are you... Damn, I can barely keep my consciousness together. Both arms and legs refuse to move. It's because you won't tell me the truth. It's your fault. We both lied, but the heaviness of your deceit was on a different level altogether. But you know, I thought that maybe. Maybe a lie could become a truth sometimes too. That would be very scary, don't you think? She's, she creeps the hell out of me right now. So I had to do something to make sure that didn't happen. Huh? Let's blend our lives together. Huh? I mean, ugh. On the other hand, at least she's not doing a corpse. <sighs> this is nuts. He's not here today either. I'm not seeing Chester anywhere lately. Perhaps I should have made a proper promise. A more proper promise. It's not like he has grown tired of me already, is it? I don't think we were that kind of relationship for. Maybe it's because of my lousy jokes. When was last time I saw him again? Mm -hmm. Two days ago? Not even close. A week, a month, about half a year maybe. A year? Was it really that long? Ah, uh, why have I? Well, I figured out all once. I ran to him again. He said he was borrowing a cabin out here. Oh! Hey, you're the boy, Lauro, aren't ya? Uh, I think you're Chester's friend. <clears throat> huh? Even kids are ignoring me these days, huh? That's why I hate this place. Chester. Look, Chester, the sky is so beautiful. I wonder why lately it looks so much brighter than before. I bet it's thanks to you. This is the precious future that you gave me. Or the precious future that you forced out of him or something like that, more likely. I guess there is actually no truly a good ending for Colette here. But yes, oh my god. I was about to say something in Polish, but never mind. 
Oh my goodness, like... This was nuts. Actually, both of those endings right now were absolutely nuts. Of them all, this one was there. This two, those two are crazy as heck. Like, what in the world, man? That girl is broken in the end. I guess I'm glad I, from the very beginning, preferred Greta. <sighs> what should we call it? Maybe we should combine our names and... Rachel, if it's a girl. And Chet, if it's a bo... Chet? Oh, I think it's too banal. What names would you like, Chester? Oh boy. I'm sorry for calling you a liar back then. You were a wonderful man after all. Gentle and honest. I'm in a bliss. I'm really glad to have met you. I'll do my best. I'll become a good mother for the sake of our child as well as for you. I'll visit you every day. Tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow, and the day after, until the end of times. I'm your family now. We'll be together forever, for no one can survive on one's own. Family has to always be together. I will never leave you alone. I promise. Damn, but I, you can see that she's a bit broken there. I promise. Well, he was telling the truth. You can't deny that. Oh boy, that was nuts. To think that she would go that far over with the other option. It's crazy. I did not expect that at all. I mean, I did not expect the first one as well. I kind of had a feeling, maybe, but no, come on, it wouldn't be like that. And then, oh my god, the CG. And over here, that, it's nuts. Absolutely nuts. Good job on doing that, for. Good job on doing that. Anyway, for now, hope you enjoyed. Uh, I believe tomorrow we'll be getting into next routes, because we are cleared with those. And we'll see how the other ones will go about hope to see you there have a wonderful day bye bye